Hello everyone and welcome back to First Look, episode 87. And as you can see here, we're taking a look at some retros, Hasbro, and more specifically the figure collections. And uh, this is my, hopefully, final time doing this video as uh, I've changed my mind on a couple of them and what I want to go through. So without further ado, we're going to jump right in. Please like this video, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Normally, First Look takes a look at some just recent gets of mine and this is no different here except uh i have opened them so we have gotten a gangrel to open had a little bit of a uh, bubble indentation i don't know when that happened i didn't notice it at first but all right he was meant to be open so there he is and luna vashan also from the figure collections as you can see she came loose. I paid uh, $10 less to get her loose because I wanted her loose anyways. Although her package, much cool art, kind of like the Gangrel one. Wrestling Megastars, figure collections. I believe this is going to be Epic Toys if I'm not mistaken too. Um, you can see kind of, we'll take a look at this, who they have coming up here. They got Demolition, who looks great from what I've seen. BWO shows two of the members, Tungaloa, their version of Greg the Hammer, which I believe actually now looks like a better one. The little bit too tall Dynamite Kid and very tall Jumper Hayabusa. This line has been a little bit all over the place, and I'll show you, try to show you an example. Card is great, though. Glad I preserved as best I could. Six foot one, 250 pounds, the other side of darkness since 19. 87 Gangrel has been brooding in the shadows of the wrestling world, keeping his opponents on edge with one of the most deadliest DDTs in wrestling. Now, as Gangrel, though, I would say it would be closer to 97 that he debuted. Um, the Impaler. It is a very awesome card. It's got the blood splattered on there. This is the blood splattered version. And for comparisons, we want to try to do them first. He is very tall in comparison to Luna. Almost to the point where his head is almost twice as big. Now you can't see it as much until you kind of get him a little closer. I gave Luna a little chain accessory for there. She's, I would say she seems to be more like a reaction figure. And he is like a little bit slightly too tall retro. But when taking a look at him compared to when I put him with a custom Hardys I have. Which is actually a... Jeff Hardy, and as you can see, his chalice does not stay in his hand very well. It's very loose. But when I put him next to my custom kind of brood-like Hardys, he doesn't look as tall. Now I know he's a little further back there. Um, and the retro is kind of known for a little bit larger heads, and that might be messing it up too because his head's big. You look at Goldust next to Luna. His head looks ginormous, almost under the Giant-esque next to Luna's tiny frame. Now, I know Luna wasn't the, the tallest wrestler. You know, she had a very commanding aura and presence. I believe just the head is just a little bit too tall. I mean, the best way to kind of gauge these is, okay, if Luna's with her husband or if with Gold Dust, do they look like, in comparison, that this is a female head that can kiss each other? And I would say... I mean, this is not doing it fully justice. It doesn't look like it at all. I mean, look at the size of his head. But, I mean, I know he was a taller dude, too. But, like, when you put her next to her, her actual husband, you know, that she, she was married to for a while, it looks like, you know, and it's hard. And, and, you know, this isn't 4K. It just doesn't do it justice. It's just very tiny. So that's the thing. I know Matt, Matt just fell there. You know, just looking, this is in the same line, mind you, the figure collections. She is noticeably smaller than the Gangrel figure in their own line. I know they're trying to be consistent in their own line. And Goldust being the Mattel retro, he looks like he dwarfs her. And, and, and again, that's not going to stay consistent in their own line. These, they're, they're two different lines. And then if you had Zombie Sailors, figure is going to be even different. But when comparison to the Mattel retros, I mean, this is not doing it justice when I don't have them in full line. But my closest, we'll drop the chain there. When I tried to do the comparison with Bam Bam, it actually scales probably the best 
with the Hasbro line. And we're going to try to do our best because Bam Bam is not loose and we're not opening him up. Sorry, folks. But when you look at her head in comparison to his, still big, obviously. But she looks like she's more compatible in with the actual Hasbro. But again, the detail in Luna is very... Let's try to get a little closer. She's got the tattoo. She's got the painted on veins. Got the collar there. Belt, gauntlet. It is a very, very detailed figure. Got a, the fishnets too. It's it's not bad. It's, you know, a little bit better detailed than this than a probably reaction. Um, kind of disappointed that nothing she can grip in the hand. So now it didn't come with anything. But like, like if you wanted to give her a chain, this could come from any number of, you know, accessories you can get somewhere. Her head does not move. At least as far as I can tell. But I mean, it'd be trapped in place with the collar and everything. Hair is beautifully detailed. It's just, like I said, I, I would find this any different than if WWE started doing reactions. Then basically, it's like having an own reaction figure. And if you look, again, now maybe this doesn't look as bad to you, but if it looks way too small, just imagine it looking even smaller in person. And that's kind of the best way to scale subs. Uh, surprise it. The head is just a little too small in comparison to some of these other ones. Now you could just kind of see, like, Gangrel, it's got like a half a forehead taller than Goldust, which should not be the case. But I know he's kind of got the bow legs. He's just too tall of a figure as it is. And then you have a female in the line, and she doesn't look like she could kiss her husband. It looks like she would be eaten by him. And again, it's very hard to tell scale-wise. The best way I could do with, as we're recording this in 4K, is this just does not do it justice. You can't fully see how small she really is. But just know that if you have ever had a reaction figure out of its package, this is kind of what you're getting. Maybe a little more detailed version. Again, compared to the Hasbro, I think it scales better. Um, I definitely think she's too small when weighed against both Gold Dust and Gangrel himself beautiful figure still but maybe this is giving you a little bit yeah i think that that's a little better you can kind of see how i mean it looks like his head can just grab her and pick her up which is not the case he's not that tall he's not under the giant tall where he could pick her up with his one hand over her head so um we'll move kind of gangrel out oh we might even look dwarf bam bam bigelow just there which is completely ridiculous but let's kind of put in Luna close to Gold Dust. Doesn't quite look as egregious. I mean, Gold Dust is slightly smaller, but his head, again, when looking at the head, he shouldn't look like he can just devour her. And he's just, and that's the Mattel Retro, and he looks way too big. So um, it's kind of hard. I mean, I think on a larger display from a long period, she probably looks not as bad with the Hardys, but. Um, Luna being a commanding presence shouldn't have maybe been this small. That would be my guess on there. But since this is a dual video, um, let's take a look. We got the chalice. It's kind of red stained. His shirt stained with red. He's got the ring. Right, it fell already because he's got articulation on the arm, which is not bad. Doesn't really have a, you know, it does turn, but is, he doesn't have, a, you know, accessory. It doesn't promise that as well. But as, you know, he does have the articulation there. And, you know, not terrible amount of details on there. Looks like he's got some pads on his boots. And, again, the, he doesn't stand very well where it's great. I mean, it's not the worst either. But the chalice is not going to stay in his hands very well. So if you're counting on that, that's going to be a bit of a disappointment. And he's just a little too tall, just like most of them are. Dynamite Kid, way too tall, too. So, um, But again, my thing, when you scale him next to the custom Barood Hardys, he actually is not horrible. He doesn't... I mean, Matt looks like he's saying that's, a, that's kind of a fake Matt because he's using Jeff's body. It just kind of worked out that way. Maybe the Matt's head is a little too big from the other retro. But it actually doesn't look too bad there. So, I mean, if you're looking to display 
the new brood that would be it there and if you're looking to display luna i'd probably put her next to bam bam if you have a bam bam loose which is kind of you know one of her more notable runs as of la that's my suggestion that's my uh take on it and Pretty much figure collections kind of could be hit or miss. I'm just looking forward to maybe a little bit better scale. I really want to see that BWO and uh, Haku just to see what they look like next to the other ones. But it's kind of a tough sell when I can't trust that there's no way Gangrel should be a half a head, four head taller than a Gold Dust, for example. But again, part of it's retro. They used kind of a medium size for Gold Dust as it is. But you got to get kind of the scale right if you want to do these. But to so many different retro type lines it makes it really hard but um i would say if luna was maybe loose around the 15 20 range i think that's a great deal for 27 now you know that's with shipping out the door it's okay i guess it just really depends on how much of a luna fan you are um just be prepared for him to be a little bit too small unless you have a bam bam that you really want her next to it's not going to be that bad um but next to gold dust and a gang grill, probably not going to be the greatest. But that's my take, folks. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, trying to do a little bit more loose stuff on this channel. And hopefully the, it's well worth the wait when I start bringing some of these videos type out. Uh, if you got any comments, drop them in there. I'll be happy to answer them. And just uh, appreciate you guys watching as always. That'll wrap this one up for first look. And we'll see you guys next time.